Hello friends, so we will continue our discussion related to classification of signals and uh, here we will discuss uh, another category which is multi channel and multi dimensional signals. Okay. Okay. So, what is uh, multi-channel signal? Okay, first we'll focus on multi-channel, then we'll go to multi-dimensional. So, we have discussed about sensors and transducers. Now we know that a sensor is a device which senses or measures the various external parameters, physical parameters which can be electrical or non-electrical form. Mainly it is used for non-electrical uh, measurements, parameters let us, uh, such as temperature, pressure, force, then uh, elongation, displacement, anything and we have to convert it into an electrical signal because we want it to analyze it, we want to process it and then use it for displaying the various aspects, the different, different characteristics. So, it can be in the form of current or voltage that gives us the electrical signal. Now, when multiple sensors are used for various purposes when the requirement is as such that multiple sensors are connected. Let us take the example of a home automation system, smart home automation system. Different kinds of sensors are connected. A temperature sensor is connected to measure the room temperature let us say. Then uh, let us say a motion detector is connected to detect any movement okay, outside the house. Then we have a light sensor which is connected, a photo detector is connected to detect the intensity of sunlight during the evening to automatically activate the lighting system. So like that different kinds of sensors can be connected. Then a sound sensor can be connected to detect excessive noise for the uh, different television system or music system to generate an alert when the sound uh, crosses some decibel value which can harm uh, you know, the hearing system. So like that uh, different kinds of sensors can be connected. So here signals are generated from multiple sources. Okay. like that. Each sensor or each source behaves as a node. Okay. Then it is fed to a common system where it is analyzed, processed, whatever thing signal conditioning is performed, signal processing is done, then it is gone to display an analysis thing like that. So, here multiple channels are there for the transmission and reception of these signals. So, the, this home automation system, the signal which is transmitted from the sensors and is received by the system, that is an example of multi-channel signal. Another example can be the patient monitoring system for example. Different sensors are connected to measure the different vital parameters such as blood pressure, heart rate, let us say ECG signal, uh, EEG signal, EMG signal, okay. then uh, 
there can be anything, anything, you know, uh, numerous vital parameters are measured at the same time using different kinds of sensors, pressure sensors or temperature sensors, body temperature is measured using temperature sensors. So, that will also be connected in the same way, in this way, multiple sensor nodes connected to a single system where signal conditioning circuitry is there, signal processing circuitry is there. We have discussed about the, uh, you know, basic block diagram representation of a measurement system in biomedical engineering and also in sensors and transducers. You can read about it in detail by going into that playlist. Here I will just cover it in a quick way. So, different kinds of blocks are there for processing, analysis, conditioning and then finally display. So, similarly these examples they represent the multi-channel signals, multiple channel signals and generally such signals are represented in vector form as this in matrix x1 t, x2 t, x3 t as many number of sources are there let us say n sources are there it will be x and t like this. This is how it is represented. So, the, this is a multi channel signal. Okay. Now, let us discuss about the multi dimensional signal. Okay. Multi dimensional signal. Okay. So, again I will take the example of, uh, you know, uh, let us say we take the example of a particular sensor, let us say RTD. We know RTD, the resistance temperature detector, where the resistance of the sensor is dependent on the external temperature <coughs> and there is also a constant proportionality which is the temperature coefficient of resistance which comes into play which is unique for each material. Generally platinum is used, other materials are also used. So, here this resistance signal is dependent on temperature and also the temperature coefficient. Temperature coefficient is generally co constant, so it is only dependent on this temperature. So, it is a one dimensional signal. Similarly, we have the thermistor which also obeys a similar relationship where resistance is dependent on temperature, one dimensional signal. If we take the uh, case of uh, you know image processing, the intensity or brightness of a picture at a particular point if we consider a two dimensional picture, a 2D picture where we take the x and y axis at a particular point the brightness or intensity is a function of both the x and the intensity at both the x and y po points, okay, this one. So, it is a two dimensional signal. And in generally in television systems, the intensity and brightness, they are represented by the intensity and brightness, measuring the intensity and brightness of the three principal colors, primary colors, red, green and blue. So, here the intensity of the red, intensity of the green and intensity of the blue color with respect to the x and y points and also a third parameter comes into play which is the time, okay, that comes into play. So, I r x y t, I g x y t and I b x y t, that comes into play. So, th this becomes a three dimensional signal, okay. So, if a signal is a function of a single variable 
that is a one dimensional signal. If a signal is function of two variables that is a two dimensional signal. If a signal is a function of three variables that is a three dimensional signal and so on. So, the number of variables that are involved. So, an m dimensional signal is a function of 1, 2 up to m parameters, m dimensional signal. So, this is a three dimensional signal we are talking about, the intensity or brightness of a picture in a television system where it is represented in this way, multi channel and multi dimensional way combination in a matrix form IR xyt ig that is for red green and blue at the x y points that is x y axis and y axis coordinates and also with respect to time the variation with respect to time okay so this is some basic concepts related to multi channel signals signals from multiple sources processed through a common system and also a multi dimensional signal whereas a signal is a dependent on multiple parameters multiple variables leading to one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional and m dimensional signal depending on how many parameters or variables it is dependent upon okay so here we have discussed some ways in which we can classify signals okay in which we can categorize signals depending upon the requirement of the study or analysis giving us a different point of view a different point of approach of studying the signal a different aspect of a signal through each categorization okay